Welcome to the P78 Quick Apply demo. The P78 Quick Apply add-on was developed for the SuccessFactors recruiting module. The app facilitates a quick and easy application process for the candidate by taking over the responsibility of the SuccessFactors registration. In the following demo, we will show you the application process from the candidate's perspective up until the moment the application has been sent and then we switch to the recruiter's perspective after the application has been received by SuccessFactors. On the current page, we can see the P78 Quick Apply and the Projekt 0708 corporate design. The design can be adapted to each customer. Before starting the demo, I want to show you the requisition architecture in SuccessFactors. Here we have an English job requisition for which pre-screening questions have already been defined. Here you can see your pre-screening questions. Now let's start with the demo. The quick apply shows the job title to the applicant, which in this case it is P78 Java Developer. The quick apply also informs the applicant which documents are required for the application. In this case, we see that we only need to upload a CV. The document requirements can be configured for each template and should match the configuration of the corresponding template in SuccessFactors. For example, you could set the CV as the only required document for blue color jobs, while applications for student jobs would need to include the cover letter and the CV. Let's upload some documents. After uploading a document, the corresponding document type has to be selected. This determines where the recruiter can find the document when accessing the application in SuccessFactors. Now, let's move on to the next screen. On this screen, you can see that the fields containing the candidate data have been automatically filled by a parsing service. This saves the applicant a lot of time during the application process. Under the section Additional Information, you can find the custom fields that have been configured by the customer. Now let's fill them out with some meaningful data. Here, under the section Further Questions about the application, you can find the pre-screening questions, if they have been configured in success factors for the respective job requisition. Let's fill some of them out. Under the section Your Documents, the candidates can look at all the documents they have uploaded in the previous step. Here, the applicant can choose the visibility options for the application. Then they have to confirm that they have read the data privacy statement. And then we can submit our application. On the final screen, the candidate is informed that the application has been sent successfully. Now, let's move on to the recruiter's point of view. Here we have our job requisition from earlier that we've just applied to. Let's check out the candidates and select the correct candidate we've just applied with. Here we can see that all the relevant data has been received. We see our CV, our cover letter, the additional documents we have uploaded, and here are also the answers to the pre-screening questions. When applying via the Quick Apply, a candidate profile and an application are created but no password is being set. After the applicant has successfully submitted the application via the Quick Apply, they receive an email looking like this. 
If the candidate wants to upload additional documents or make changes to his candidate profile, he can set his password by clicking on this link. The email also contains the username, in this case this is the email address. Now when clicking on this link, the candidate can create a password through the SuccessFactor standard functionality. Now we want to see what happens when a candidate applies to a different position but with the same email address that is already linked to a SuccessFactors profile. Our candidate has the same email address but he has a different last name and also a different address. Let's fill out the required fields so we can send our application. Now we see that the quick apply has detected that the quick candidate already has a profile in success factors and has sent the candidate an OTP code to verify his identity. Now we just copy the OTP code, paste it in, and submit our OTP. If the OTP code is correct, we move on to the completion screen. Like before, we can find the application in the SuccessFactor system. As you can see, we have our correct name and the changed address. Like before, we can find the application in the SuccessFactor system. As you can see, we have the changed last name and our address is also different. Now let's take a look at the previous job requisition and see what has changed. Let's look for a candidate. Here he is. And as you can see, we still have the last name from before and all the data has stayed the same. It's also the old address. But if we now look at our candidate profile, we actually have the new data. Thank you so much for watching this demo and see you in the next one.